Hello and welcome to the fourth module of Certified Business Analysis Professional, CBAP preparatory course offered by Simply Learn. In the first module, we covered the overview of the CBAP test. We discussed planning the analysis approach in the second module. We learnt about elicitation in the third module. In this module, we will discuss requirements management and communications. This knowledge area focuses on the project requirements management to ensure that the important elements of the project are up to date, prioritised and deliverable as a solution. As the project progresses, information uncovered may alter the need which may necessitate new or additional requirements to employ the solutions. The project team and stakeholders need to be constantly updated. Communications helps to ensure the right people are involved in developing, understanding and approving the project requirements. Also, the requirements should be accessible and managed during the requirements development phase and the project life cycle. Let us look into the agenda of this module in the next slide. We will start with finding out how to manage the solution scope requirements. Next, we will discuss the ability to trace back to the origins of the roots of the findings. This is called traceability. An input to the solution scope management is the next topic to be discussed. This will be followed by understanding how to manage the requirement changes. We will then discuss how to prepare the requirements package. Outside vendor requirements will be dealt with next followed by communicating requirements and approved requirements traceability. Finally, we will look into a structured walkthrough. Let us begin with managing the solution scope requirements in the next slide. Defining solutions and needs can be an ongoing process that takes place at the BA and project team drill downs in the solutions to the defined needs. As the solution morphs or changes direction, the requirements to support the solutions may also change. Hence, the requirements will have to be defined. Sometimes, a requirement for a solution may require outsourcing or specialized equipment and can affect the financial viability of the project. The project team does not want to approach the sponsor with some new costly requirement if all the possible less costly requirements have not been explored first. Hence, there should be constant documentation updating whenever there are any changes in the need solution requirement chain. There should be an ongoing management of the solution scope. To help keep track of the solution scope at any point of time, a baseline description of the scope should be documented. This helps identify and track the various changes and current status of the solution scope and the requirement. If costly requirement changes are needed, Written proof for the additional man hours or equipment will make it easier to obtain the approval. When the solution scope has reached a point where the key stakeholders and SMEs agree that the solution and associated requirements have been met, an approval from the sponsor or their designated person will sign off the current solution scope. This does not mean that the solution scope may not be altered in the future. However, as a matter of procedure, before any actual implementation takes place, the underlying blueprint for the solutions and requirements must be signed off by the appropriate authority. This important procedure can become a legal issue if the project goes wrong. The next slide deals with traceability.